Hey kids, how's it hanging? A few news stories popped up on my uh, feed on Facebook this week and let's talk about a few of them, shall we? Now, this first story got my attention real quick. Here's the headline. Church bans children. Don't cheer. Don't throw a party just yet. Wait until you see why they ban children from their church. They ban children from their church to um, keep their pedophile pastor. Yeah, that's right. You see, uh, this guy, uh, what's his name? Um, Gilead. Uh, okay, Gilead. Uh, his church banned children from coming so they could keep their pastor. You see, the pastor is not allowed to um, be around anyone under the age of 18. So uh, the church just said, children can't fucking come anymore. Now, I'm all for banning children from church, you know me. But the reason they did it was to appease a guy who liked to diddle 15 year old girls and send them fucked up text messages. I find this kind of odd since, you know, in the black community, pedophiles are kind of, you know, find themselves at the bottom of the dirt. If a person even um, looks at a child and, you know, um, and I want to hit that kind of way in my neighborhood, they probably uh, get murdered on the spot. But since this man here is a man of God, he gets a pass. Mm. Fuck that. Hey, you remember Uganda's kill the gays bill? Well, guess what? That shit's about to become law. That's right. Uganda to officially pass kill the gays bill. Now, if you don't know what the kill the gays bill is, it's basically a piece of legislation that says, if you are homosexual in Uganda, you could spend the rest of your life in prison. And if you're caught in the act of being a homosexual, you know, two girls scissoring or two dudes having a sword fight, you could get the death penalty. You could fucking die in Uganda for being gay. And not only that, if a, a relative of a gay person in Uganda does not turn in their gay relative, they could also be sent to prison for the rest of their lives. Don't you just fucking love religion? A woman in Ireland died because she could not get an abortion. Why couldn't she get an abortion? You already know the answer to that. Because of the fucking religious hospital that she went to. She died from blood poisoning after miscarrying. This is where religious belief becomes fucking deadly. A woman is fucking dead because some fuck in Ireland thinks that a fucking fetus the size of my fist is a, a fucking living human. Her husband came in and found her dead because she couldn't get a fucking abortion. This woman was in unbelievable agony for three fucking days. She had, she, she had accepted the fact that she was gonna lose her baby. But the motherfuckers at the Catholic hospital said that there's nothing they can do about it because there was still a heartbeat. And she fucking died. There's a church in Florida that's appeasing pedophiles because of religion. There is going to be state-sponsored murder of homosexuals because of religion. And this woman is dead because of religion. 